Hey y'all, it's Mary and this is Mary Catherine Loves Cats and welcome. This is the 4th of July Independence Day. And um, I have some fun facts for you. Well, maybe they're not fun, but some facts for you. And um, I am going to do a mask and I'm going to do this mask with um, Katie's Corner of the World. Um, Katie and her daughter Emily and I are doing this mask. Um, I had sent this to them. They had sent me masks in the past and we sometimes we send each other masks. And um, these I sent to Emily for her 10th birthday. So we will all be doing this mask today. And um, then we will, uh, I have some facts for you for the 4th of July. And Emily and um, Katie will answer some questions that I sent to them for the 4th of July. So let me get this on and then we can start. Um, I'll start with the facts, with the fun facts. Now this is, I just opened it and it's very, um, Juicy. Oh, and it's cute. Now, someone told me the name of this girl. Um, I don't see it on here. She's. It's the, one of the trolls. I want, was it Piper or Pepper? Piper? Let's see if I can see it on here. I'm not seeing her name on here. Isn't that where you would think they would put it on there? But anyway, it was just a, a cute mask that I saw, and I thought um, Emily would like it, so I got them for us. It smells good. It smells sweet and it does have it's pink in color how are you all enjoying your fourth of july i hope that y'all are having a great day whether you're relaxing or grilling out or whatever it is you like to do going to the lake going to the beach spending time with family swimming in the pool if you have one um oops i have the day off so to me that's always a good day all right, let's see, I'll put this on. It's very pretty. Oh, and I'm wearing my lobster headband um, that Kim sent me. Kim and Laura, Kim from Kimmy's Boxes and Laura the Bargain Hunter picked that out at the dollar store when they were together, the Dollar Tree. This smells really good. Like I said, it smells sweet. And I don't know if that's gonna stay on my, under my, right here. For some reason, it always wants to drop down. I guess because I'm talking. But how cute is that? It's got little flowers on it. I thought I'd wear the lobsters for 4th of July. Because that's what I like to be doing. I like to be on vacation in Maine. Or at the beach somewhere. On the East Coast. And I'm going to cut this off. And having lobster. That's what I would like to do. Uh, you know, a lobster boil or something on the beach. Wouldn't that be fun? I know some of you are doing that. So congratulations if you are. <laughs> Okay, Woo. it's nice and cool, lots of essence. The essence is um, very nice. It's sort of jelly-like. Mm -hmm. This is very nice, very nice. Messy, I've got a towel right here. It's from the, the cram shop, I should have said that. Brightening and Restore, it says it's going to. It's a printed essence sheet mask infused with 24 karat gold and vitamin C. Fantastic. Okay, let me see. Here are my... My facts about um, Independence Day, the 4th of July. On July 3rd of 1781, Massachusetts leg leg legislature called for an official state celebration to recognize the anniversary of the independence of the United States of America, making it the first state to recognize the 4th of July as an official holiday. Isn't that weird? It took over, what, 17, well, no, now how many years was that, 1776? Well, like five years? Yeah. I was thinking it was way longer than that, but no. Okay. And then nearly 100 years after Massachusetts made July 4th an official state celebration, Congress declared Independence Day a federal holiday. That was the part that interests me. It took them that long to make it a, a, a federal holiday. The 4th of July might seem like the holiday that the White House would celebrate before any other, but it didn't actually host an official Independence Day party until 1801, and President Thomas Jefferson was in office at the time. And um, then we have, I had some questions here right now. Okay, hang on. The oldest 4th of July parade in the nation is celebrated in the town of Bristol, Rhode Island each year. It has been happening since 1785. That's a long time. If I lived there, I'd definitely be going to that parade. There, was only, there has only been one president ever born on the 4th of July, Calvin Coolidge. Coolidge was born July 4th of 1872 in Plymouth Notch, Vermont. On July 4th of 1826, 
50 years after the Declaration of Independence was finalized, former U.S. Presidents Thomas Jefferson and John Adams reportedly died just hours apart. Exactly five years later, James Monroe reportedly became the third U.S. President to die on the 4th of July. That's very interesting. Um, it's hard to get through an entire 4th of July party or parade without hearing the Star Spangled Banner at least once or twice. Despite being written during, world, the, during the War of 1812, Francis Scott Key's famous song didn't become the national anthem until 1931, 88 years after Key had passed away. Um, one World Trade Center in New York City is remarkable and meaningful to the U.S., to the United States of America for a variety of reasons. However, you might not know that its most outstanding feature is its height. It was designed to pay tribute to the year that America received its independence from Great Britain. The tower is exactly 1776 feet tall to represent the year 1776. 1776 feet tall. Wow. And according to, we'll end on a, a fun one. According to the National Hot Dog and Sausage Council, approximately 150 million hot dogs are consumed by Americans on the 4th of July each year. If lined up, that amount of hot dogs could stretch from Washington, D.C. to Los Angeles more than five times. So are you having a hot dog today? Like I said, I'd like to have lobster, but I won't be. Um, so maybe I will have a hot dog. How about y'all? What are you going to do? Um, you know, grilling, uh, most people will grill hot dogs and hamburgers. And, um, you know, that's just uh, the way it is and lots of fun. And it's great to have potato salad and coleslaw and all those good sides along with that. So I hope you all are enjoying your 4th of July. And um, go over and see Katie's Corner of the World. And um, say hello to Emily for me. And she's just a doll. And she likes to do Mass Mondays sometime with her mom. And um, she uh, is just, uh, she's going to be... Um, um, She's uh, just a sweetheart and a doll, and I think she's going to be famous someday. She's just got a lot of, she's got a lot of spunk. And um, anyway, y'all, I'll, let me turn this off. I'll come back when this has been on appropriately. I can't, I have to read the directions to see how long it's supposed to be on, okay? Be right back. Okay, y'all, um, time to take this mask off. It feels really good, and I'll tell you, it just, it's very lightly scented, but it smells very good. It says to rub the essence in, and no need to wash off. There is quite a bit of essence, quite a bit. So I, it'll take me a while to rub it all in. But y'all, I hope that you enjoy 4th of July and that you're celebrating our wonderful country. We are very blessed to live in this beautiful, safe um, country. And we are blessed to have our neighbors and friends and family protect us by um, being um, being in the uh, armed forces of all, all the armed forces that we have and keeping us safe, and it's the greatest country in the world. Count your blessings, and be proud that you live in the United States of America. Bye-bye.